Hello Chelsea fans worldwide, if you are interested in the latest news about the Blues, please subscribe and leave a like for more updates. Tell us in the comments from which country you follow Chelsea news. Now we've got some breaking news and uh, I've got a bone to pick with Maurizio Pochettino because just two hours ago he gave his press conference ahead of Chelsea Luton tomorrow night and we asked him about potential new signings, one of them being David Washington, the Santos teenager, and he said, oh, don't know anything about it, can't talk about it, young player, good player, but I can't talk about it. Two hours later, the news is confirmed. Chelsea have now completed the signing of David Washington from the Brazilian side Santos. So he's a teenage forward. And he signed one of those whopping Chelsea contracts, a seven-year deal with the option of a further year following a, a truly breakout season in South America. And he follows uh, Angelo Gabriel in joining from Santos. Andre? Andre? Yes. And um, Angelo? Yes. Ah. We need yeah, boots. There you go. Uh, do we have the jacket? Yeah. <laughs> serious. <laughs> yeah, oh, this is, this is, I feel like a model here. <laughs> Olá, torcedores do Chelsea. Aqui é o David Washington. Feliz demais por estar no time gigante como o Chelsea the blues are keen to sign the United States international after he burst onto the scene on loan at Reigns last season. Belogan outscored Neymar and Lionel Messi in France's top flight, netting 21 goals in 37 League One appearances. The 22-year-old is keen to continue his rapid development and is pushing to leave Arsenal in search of regular first-team football. Gabriel Jesus and Eddie Nketiah are currently ahead of him in Mikel Arteta's pecking order. Now, according to Football Daily, the Hale End Academy graduate is still training alone as he awaits his next move, with this update coming just days after the Daily Mail claimed Chelsea held talks about signing the striker. Arsenal want 50 Maurersers for the New York-born forward, according to Sky Sports. By the sounds of it, Belogan's departure from the Emirates Stadium could happen quite soon. A story from Sky Sports claims that Monaco are close to agreeing a deal with Arsenal, and the American wonder kid is open to the move. However, according to football transfers, Chelsea have agreed personal terms with Belogan, so there is now a race against time to agree a fee with Arsenal. He can still improve. We're going to Leo. Hello. Um, how physically ready are Caicedo and Lazio to play big minutes against Luton? Are they ready to start? If you need Mo to Moyes start? is ready to start. Um, Lavia no, still is is after the um, assess him. I think he needs a few weeks to be ready to be involved with the uh, with the team. Uh, his reconditioning now is is working to try to catch you know, the 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 team and the teammates and yes uh, for Romeo still we we need to wait a few weeks to be with the involved with the team but uh, Mois is ready. Okay, we're going to David and then finish with James. I'm ready to have you come from the okay. uh, You said in the past your team is unbalanced in terms of you have too many left backs and too few midfielders that you now both. Do you still think you need? to add players to certain roles or to sell players to have a more balanced team? We need uh, at least one keeper. We have, yes, very talented keeper, youngers, you know, that 
but they need time. They need, we need one more to add. And then we were talking about one offensive player that with the the right profile to you know to help. But as you say to me, yes or yes. If we can add the right profile, yes. But it's not to bring player because we need one more. Uh, we don't want to store player here and to stop you know the evolution of the some young guys that can can be involved with the with the team. And then we have you no know, Brocha or Kunku, uh, player that can play like number nine. No? I seen is yes, it's working hard, but not to taking decision only for because we need someone to add, to, to add. But it's in these two areas that maybe we need, you no, know, uh, add some players. And when you work on a on a team like you're working a process, you're trying to build something. How difficult it is to do it while the transfer window is still open and you can have players coming and going and changing? No, we need to adapt and being positive. That is the most important. Being positive because it's about what the player need to listen and the player need to work in this all this process that is tough for them. I think it's more it's tougher for, for the player than for us, the, the coaching staff. But in the same time, we need to translate that very good energy and being positive, even if sometimes we are disappointed because we are playing well, but we don't get the, the points. Uh, they need to feel that we support them and we are in behind them. And, um, for sure, uh, I think it's, it's not an easy job, but it's, it's a massive challenge and, and it's a challenge that we enjoy, really enjoy. I think the quality is there, it's only a matter of time. Thank you. Thank you. You're Final question, James Oli. You've already got a big job on in trying to build the team with all these individual players. How much harder is the injury list making that job for you? And, and can you explain why you've had so many injuries? Is it just bad luck? Is it something you're training? Well, we can describe. Uh, it's, I cannot say now. It's, it's many of them that bad luck, because when you like it was in Kunko or Carney, only it's an example or or Fofana. Uh, how you can control? It's not about training or not training, training hard or, or a lot or less or too much or methodology problem, no. It sometimes happens, that is football. Uh, and some another is maybe, some, uh, yes, many factors that can have the, the influence, but it's difficult to talk in general because in any situation is different. Uh, also the, 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 the past, you know. Uh, yes, many, many things, many factors that are there, but it's, it's about to talk, uh, we need to talk about Carney, we need to talk about uh, Brocha, we need to talk about, you know, about Mudrich and explain why. But it's difficult to explain why. And in the same time, we can explain in general that was bad luck or bad transition or, you know, bad methodology. It's a, it's a many factors that can influence, but it's true. In some point, it's bad luck, you know. In some point, for sure, it's bad luck to have concentrated many, you know, like Carney, Brocha, Fofana and Kunku, no knee problems, all in different ways, no? Okay, we'll end the broadcast section.